Send me an angel, baby. Send me an angel. Boy. Quite arguably, one of the best magic sets in the history of Magic the Gathering. Avacyn restored, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rudy, and you're watching Alpha Investments, your Friday night destination to locate. You remember, hit locator, third floor basement to the left of the taco pack. Please do not look. Ignite the dawn, everybody. Even the camera's nervous. Look at that. Ignite the dawn, everybody. Please do not look at the... Oh, my goodness. Yep. It's an 05 Da 7 LCs. Used to call me that in middle school, everybody. Well, everybody, we're going to go back to, quite frankly, one of my favorite sets. Bradley B, also known as 2Bs. This is... I believe this is the same gentleman who did a two-box opening of Avacyn Restored a while back ago. I think it was almost a year ago on the channel. And I think this was the same, because the last time we did an Avacyn Restore... Oh my god, look at that. The last time we did a box opening of this set, I actually think, didn't we get like six or eight or nine Mythics or something ridiculous? You don't even get pieces of paper on top of the box anymore, do you? I mean, absolutely insanity, everybody. Absolute insanity. Avacyn, she is a firecracker, man. What a powerful, like, just gorgeous power woman, man. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, everybody. So... We're going to go back to the infamous white packs over here. Hopefully we don't hit too many Mr. Uh, evil Tibbles. And uh, we're going to take our time. Have a good day here, everybody. Hope you're not in a hurry because you know I like to slow roll these vintage cards. Ooh, the old frame, too. You don't even have pre-fifth uh, core 15. So we're going to go through a couple commons just for the first pack just so everybody can get a feel for the set. Then we're going to go right into just obviously looking for the goodies, everybody. And the angels in this set are just flipping gorgeous. I mean, there's no other way to say it, but just just flipping beautiful cards, man. I don't know what the deal was with the theme of this set, but it just it'll take your breath away, everybody. We've got the Emancipation Angel looking all beautiful. The Angel's Tomb starting off with an Arc Wing Dragon with a creepy human guy and a beautiful island. So obviously, just so everybody knows, yes, this is the first original printing. Of Cavern of Souls. And it is at a rare, not a mythic, everybody. Rudy flying around on the old griff. So keep that in mind, everyone. Grounded. Ooh, that's creepy. Ooh, Scroll of Avacyn. That's sweet. Look at that. That is epic looking. That's really cool, everybody. And Wing Crafter. Look at that. That's cool. And Renegade Demon. The Border Ranger. Alchemist. Sumbo the Vigil. Is that Bill Murray? Anyways. Mass Appeal, Aggravate, and the Authority going right to the Silver Heart Soulbound. Anybody remember that mechanic? I remember that. And looking to, oh yeah, the old tip cards. They, they don't really do those anymore. And look at that forest. Oh my goodness. All right, so obviously nothing crazy so far, and uh, but a lot. So remember, there's a lot of rares in this set are about $1 to $5 range, and then there's a ton of good value. God, I love the old artifact looks like that, man. Scroll of Grizzlebrand. Look at that scroll, man. Flipping ab. Oh, undead exit. Look at that guy. That is a bad day. That is a bad day. Stone right. Look out. And here we go. Mist Hollow Griffin. Oh, it's a mythic. Holy crap. Okay. Mist Hollow Griffin is a mythic. I didn't even realize that. Mythic number one. We do have our first foil for the Inquisitor. For the foil common, everybody. So that's not a great. Uh, and again, people are going to be like, Rudy, it's like a $10 mythic. I don't. I don't don't even remember that being a mythic in this set. That was a rare, but okay. All right, so we're going to start speeding up through the commons here. What is that? That guy needs to see a doctor. All right. Ooh, the old... I love the mirror. Don't you guys love that miracle framework there? Isn't that cool? Infamous favorable wins. And here we go. Hound of the Grizzle, Brian. Look at that two-headed double strike with undying mechanic. Anybody remember that? And we got another mythic. We got the old tandem lookout. And this is a common... Or, I'm sorry, an uncommon foil. Very spicy. You know, people, a lot of people want to, what we're doing is I want to talk a little bit a second here. A lot of people have been asking um, about the overall, um, what was I going to say, the uh, the sealed box prices and how they continue to really kind of tick up lately. Wild Defiance for this enchantment, very uh, pricey little enchantment there, and a nice swampy. So a lot of people have been asking me about that. I just want to address that real quick. Um... And the sealed box prices on a product like this is going to reach the $500 plus per booster box. I know it's goofy sounding, but people also said that $200 a box would be crazy for this. And again, 
this product is a very, very sought after, iconic, nostalgic set for a lot of people. Oh, look at those blade bracers. How cool is that? So I just want to go ahead and comment on that real quick about the value of this particular product, Vanishment. Bottom and blood and, ooh, Sumberwald Sage. Look at that. Rudy Owls in that artwork, too. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Steve Argyle, always with your fancy schmancy skills. I wish I had the, the skill and the artwork to paint like and do art like some of these people. I have no ability. Finance number people like me are terrible in the creative art category. Voices and a gorgeous Seraph Dawn there. Executioner, Drake, Blazer. All right, so we're going to start going right to the uncommons now. Gorgeous looking Emancipation Angel again. Haunted Guardian. Ooh, the Alchemist Refuge. Absolutely fantastic rare land, everybody. Classic card. This has actually been creeping up in price also. Gorgeous human token and a planes. So that's probably one of our that's probably one of our more expensive rares right now, at about a ten dollar rare so far. And um going right to the uncommons. Hallowed Geist. Blood artist. Hey, I remember you. I love that artwork. I mean, isn't that just amazing? I always thought that was a cool piece of art. Triumph of Fury. Wait, wasn't that is that Lily and Garuk? I remember that. That was an old art. And Moon Sliver Spear. The old equipment. And that is it. Ah. Wish you guys could smell the ink on these things, man. Woo! Smells great. Absolutely fantastic smelling ink. Into the Void. Blood Artist again. Eaten by spiders. And boom. There we go. The old closet. Anybody remember this artifact? Pepperidge Farm remembers. That was a cool little artifact. And just a mountain. All right. Slow rolling, and what is Rudy's X? What is this? Sh uh, yeah, all right, I'll still take you out. It's okay. All right, I'll take you out anyways. You look, you've seen better days, though. You've seen better days. And, ooh, Sagada. Host oh, it's a mythic. Sagada's a mythic. I thought it was a rare originally. Host of the Herons. Okay, so we are at mythic number two, Sagadia. I don't know why I call it Sigardia, even though there's no I, but I'm still going to resume that. Sagadia. All right, here we go. Going right to the uncommons, everybody. Thunderous Wrath. Favorable Winds. Cruelty of the Old Lily. And we are looking at Arcane Melee. Um, I'm trying to remember what that was. There was a story with that particular card. Don't remember. And we got a foil. And Unhallowed Pact for the Foil Common, everybody. Surprised the foils really aren't warped or anything. I know a lot of the older foils back in the day still had a lot of the warping issues. But uh, I don't know. Maybe the storage. I guess. I don't know. In the boxes or something? I have no idea. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Avenger and Triumph and right into the Spirited Away. Man, that is a creepy looking card, man. Look at that thing. Whew, that is a creeper. Why is my camera freaking out? Sorry about that, everybody. This is trying to focus on something in the background. Oops, messing up my piles now. Oh my god, who runs this channel? Uh, we are only 12 packs in. We're doing double box today, everybody. That is going to be a whopping 72-pack opening video, and we are just enjoying ourselves. Ghostly Touch Filter. Oh, baby, there she is! With all her glory still young and fresh on this party pack. Cavern of Souls, the original printing. Wow. Oh, man, we got that bad boy early. Original. You're going to go up here in the happy land. Original. Cavern of Souls, everybody. The card that if Wizards actually knew the future, they would have put it, printed it at Mythic and not Rare. We got it already, folks. I think, what's Cavern of Souls original? 60? 80 bucks? Treacherous Pit Dweller. Creepy, creepy undying demon there. And that is it. Man, you know Wizards would have put Cavern of Souls at a Mythic if they knew. You know they would have. Even in all the reprints in the future, they left it at Mythic. Wow, amazing, amazing pool, everybody. Ooh, look at that creepy zombie. Silverblade Paladin with the old Soulbound. Oh, we got a foily. No, no foily. That confuses me. It always throws me off because of the old, uh, that tip card always confuses me. Oh, man. Absolutely awesome video. Ooh, Corpse Trader. It's very cool. Wolfair, Avenger, Guardian, an exquisite blood. Another one of the best rares in the set again. Man, we are hitting everything today, ladies and gentlemen. That is Cavern and Exquisite. Eh, two medium mythics, though. You know, mythics could be a little better. Maybe little Avacyn herself could show up and, you know, grace us with her presence. But, hey, we got Cavern. We got Exquisite Blood. We even had that $10 land. We're actually, we're doing pretty good here. Angelic Ornaments. 
Oh, uh, yeah, the old vampire, the mentor, and herald of war. Been a nice little regular rare. Like I said, I don't remember which ones, but I know there was like, God, I think it was like 10 or... Does that have the number of cards in the set at the bottom? Yeah, 244 cards. I think like, was it like 15% or 20% of all the rares are worth more than the cost of the pack or something? Ooh, Descendant's Path. One of my favorite pieces of artwork from good old Therese Nielsen there. Absolutely one of the most gorgeous pieces of artwork in the history of Magic by far. Fantastic. Oh, we do have a foil. And, oh, Banner's Rays. Just a common foil. We still haven't seen the foil rare, everybody. We are officially halfway through box one. Uh, we are doing extremely well for the first half of box one. A lot of good hits already, everyone. Vanishing Exterminator, and there we go. Slayer's Stronghold. One of the weaker specialty lands in the set. Still very cool looking. Love the building with the Avacyn's logo on it. Super cool. Very, very nostalgic. Love it. So, remember everybody, uh, this was... Was this 2011? What year was this? Uh, does it say on the bottom of the cards? 2012, I'm sorry. I was like, and remember, print runs were not very uh, generous back then. Right of Ruin, the nice little rare. And that's it. See, so yeah, keep that in mind, everybody. If those of you who were not around, um, print runs pre-return uh, to Ravnica, you couldn't just order as many boxes as you want. It didn't work that way back in the day, everyone. And what is that? Lightning Pro... What is that? Is an inappropriate outfit. Archangel looking gorgeous flying through the air with that lightsaber. And we got ourselves the tracker. Token. And we do have a foil. Do we finally get the foil rare? We do get the foil rare. Arc Wing Dragon for the swing and the miss. Well, that's a letdown. That's a letdown. But hey, Bradley, dude, you got to be thrilled about the early pool in the cavern. So that you're probably looking at two caverns of souls in, in today's video. So that's pretty sweet right there. Hey, we got ourselves a miracle. Reforge the soul. Very, very iconic. Gorgeous, gorgeous regular rare there from the old miracle era. Um, I remember a lot of people really hated and a lot of people really loved the miracle mechanic. The uh, the opinion was very, very divided. It was not a very uh, well-accepted thing. Burn at the stake for the nice little creepy rare. We do have another foil. And we're looking at Evernight Shade for the foil uncommon. Very dark printing on that particular card. Very cool. And going into, where are we at? Oh, wow, we saw 12 packs left of box one. This is these older boxes. I love to slow roll these things. They are gorgeous. What do we got here? Gold Knight Redeemer looking beautiful. Ornaments, Defy Death, and we got ourselves a Cathars Crusade for the Enchantment Rare. No foil, everybody. We're still missing some of the really, uh, I think it was like Terminus and Avacyn, Avacyn herself. Uh, we're, we're missing quite a bit of the big heavy... Uh, uh, Dark Imposter. I remember this Vampire Assassin. I remember thinking, good lord, six mana to activate that. A little much, don't you guys think? Rudy, it's overpowered! Ah! But nah. Yeah, we're still missing quite a bit of the heavy hitting rares, but hey, we did get the big daddies already, so that's nice. Alright, here we go. Druids, eaten by spiders. Ferocity! Oh, there we go! Malignus for the next mythic. We are not getting the home run mythics today on box one. So mythic number three there is kind of a eh... What was that, a couple dollar mythic? It's not really a... It's kind of one of the weaker ones. Beautiful artwork, but just not a lot of financial value and demand for play on that particular card. Harvester of Souls. Nah. Harvester of Souls is... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what? Conspiracy 2 reprint, I think? I think that was Conspiracy 2 reprint. Yeah, wasn't that just a regular rare? I think that was like a Conspiracy just... That wasn't even a mythic or anything. Why did they reprint that? That's kind of a strange choice. And Zealous Conscripts, 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 everybody, for the regular rare. So, so far right now, like I said, uh, we're looking for some next heavy hitting mythics. We've got most of the expensive rares in the set, but we could definitely use some good mythics right now. Lone Revenant. We got the old Hexproof Spirit, everyone. He's a nice little couple dollar rare. And, uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Cause. Guys of Fire, not Cause. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that curse break. Beautiful artwork, everybody. Vessel, the Redeemer, Latch Seeker, and the Killing Wave. For, look at that Killing Wave. Okay, that is that is wild looking. That is a chick you do not want to have angry at you. My goodness, she is a powerhouse. Man, these old packs are tough to open. Sometimes I have, like these video, I have a tough time cracking these things quickly. They are just really difficult to get through, man. Infinite Reflection. I always thought that was a cool piece of art. We do have a foil. 
And we got ourselves a nice little Vanguard flying hot angel on the old big old bird. Not too bad. All right. All right. Here we go. Champlain. And Divine Reflection, everybody. Prevent the next X damage instant. I, I don't remember that ever being a good card. But I remember this being like really strange artwork. So that's where we stand, everybody. Nice long form relaxing box opening of the world of Avacyn. Not something you see very often anymore. These prices are not getting any cheaper, everybody. Tyrant of Discord. I remember this big old seven drop seven seven elemental. So I always thought that was a cool piece of artwork. I was like a big big fire guy running through a city. I always thought that was kind of neat. Nice little uh kind of whoa kind of attitude. And we got ourselves the Demon Lord of Ashmouth, huh? Um, again, kind of a... We had some strange pulls today. What's she up to? I don't know. Look at that forest. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful. What was that? Nice autumn and fall. Beautiful, beautiful card. We haven't had any foil lands, actually. We are at the end of box one, everybody. No foil lands. Oh, we did get the behemoth! We'll all be dang gone bobs in the TPS report. Look at that. Behemoth coming through. Four mythic box right at the end. Wow, this turned out to be not a bad box, everybody. We hit almost all the good cards in the set. And box one, ending on a Dark Imposter Duplicate Rare, everybody. That was a nice four mythic box. You got the cavern. You got yourself a little cigar to action. You got crazy. No, not bad. Terrible foil rare. Um, that was kind of a kind of a swing and a miss. But you know what? Not too bad, everyone. Could have been a lot worse. And boy... See, this, this is a tough opening or type of video to do if you cannot get Cavern of Souls. You have to get Cavern of Souls, everybody. Without Cavern of Souls, you're kind of heading to Pound Town. It's very, very difficult to really make this set work financially. You got to get the Big Daddy. All right, here we go, everybody. Box two. Go a little quicker. Not going to be looking at commons as much. Let me uh, move some commons over so my, oh, so my hairy arm doesn't uh, make a complete mess on the camera. Here we go. Pack one, everybody. Silverheart. Okay, here we go. We're going for it, everyone. Pack two. Now that we've got a nice uh, broken in feel of the set, and definitely now we're just looking for the goodies, everybody. And Captain of the Mist. I remember this card. That was a cool card. Anybody else? I, I remember that. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. I always thought it was pretty cheap. I always thought it was undervalued, but again, everyone's like, well, yeah, Rudy, because you don't know how to play Mujik the Goothering. I know. I know what you're thinking. And there we go. Burn at the stake again for the old five drop sorcery. Eh, a little, a little expensive on the old casting box there, if you ask me. Alright, moving forward. Come on, give us the goodies for box two. Will we beat box one? I don't know. Ah, uh, Primal Surge for the mid range mythic. Flipping ten drop sorcery mythic. Isn't this thing ridiculous? I mean, but again, you know, like I said, exile, if it's a permanent, you can repeat the process. So the mechanic is quite strong, but. I don't know, I still think just 10 drop is a little much. Maybe like 6 to 8 would have been a little bit more aggressive, but just laying that out there. All right, anyway, so we got Mythic number 1. If we can hit ourselves a double Cavern of Souls, I'm going to call this video a nice home run. And, of course, if we can get a nice foil rare or foil Mythic. Hey, Terminus! We didn't get you in the first box, finally! And we got ourselves a foil into the void. Nice little foil uncommon there. All right, so not bad. We got a Mythic. We finally got Terminus. We did not get any Terminus in the first box, so that was kind of a blah. Cool, okay. And there we go, the old Sage again, looking smoking hot in the woods. With uh, Rudy the Owl, kind of uh, checking her out there. Not too bad. Alright, here we go everyone. And, let's see, Rush Banishing and the old Gloom Surgeon. Always a creepy little spirit, isn't it? Two drop little spirit, creepy surgeon, dead person. Yeah, the theme of this set was pretty cool. It had a really nice theme feel to this type of uh, era. Ooh, Revenge of the Hunted. Nice little uh, miracle mechanic. And a creepy looking hot angel. I'd still buy you coffee. We can Netflix and chill. And a foil dangerous wager for the foil common. So, so far, so good. We're going to keep it going, everybody. We're going to keep it going. All right, here we are. Ooh, come on, give us the big money. And Silver Blade Paladin for the nice soul bound three drop human knight. Alright, let's see what we got here. Come on. Come on, here we go. And Angelic, Thunderous, Twins, and. Ah, oh, really? Miss Hollow Griffin? We got the same flying, creepy dog, griffin, bird, animal, hamster, gerbil? Really? 
<sighs> Mythic number two. We do have a foil. Hey, look at that. That's pretty sweet. Deadeye Navigator. Foil rare. That was, I used to love that card. I used to think that was a really cool card. Okay. Foil rare Deadeye. That's not too bad. At least it's not some complete junk like the other foil rare. All right. Not too bad. Not worth a ton, but still kind of a nice little uh, theme, little flavorful card there. Spirit Away again. Isn't that our third one in this video? It's really not what we want. Yeah, that's what we all wanted. Three Spirited Away. That's what everybody wakes up and says, Rudy, I need three spirits. Jeez Louie, what are you doing? You need to see a dentist. All right, Rush, Eaton. Oh! <laughs> oh, Bradley. Two Bs, my friend. Two Bs. Cavern of Souls for the double tap. Double cavern, baby. We did it. We flippin' did it. I, I knew we were going to get it. We got that first cavern so early in the video. I was like, we have to get a seven, second cavern of souls, man. That was completely amazing. Lone spirit. Wow. We did it. We flipping did it. That's all. That was pretty much the number one goal of this video was to get cavern of souls. And the stretch goal was a double tap on cavern. We flipping did it. Oh, and an alchemist refuge for the double tap again. Absolutely fantastic. Rare specialty land there dude this is turning out to be a smooth video everybody what are you doing trusted little young lady up to some shadiness over there and banishing builders and grizzle wow holy smokes box two is just showing us what magic's all about everybody and a foil wing crafter foil common wow mythic number three coming in with the grizzle brand wow okay dude this is really picking up some steam everyone this box is an animal Holy crap, and we're so early in the video. Herald of War, floating around like you're a hot angel. Yeah, you're a hot angel. It's okay. It's okay. Let's play it cool. Everybody stop being a bunch of weirdo creeps. All right, here we go. Come on, let's get more. Can you imagine we get duplicates of something epic? We got the closet. Okay. Not a home run card, but still kind of a nice little flavorful card for the set. Come on, here we go. Here we go, everybody. And... Ah, the old wild defiance. Rudy, when he wakes up with that crazy spiky hair. All right. Come on. Still haven't seen Avison herself as a mythic. We still have not pulled one in either video. Ah, the old demonic rising. Creepy, creepy little enchantment demon there. And no foil. We've had no foil basic lands. Kind of crazy. Are we really going to go two entire box openings without a single foil basic? That's kind of weird. And the old conscripts. And no foil. Wow, I was really hoping for a foil basic. At least one, just to see how gorgeous it looks. Kind of crazy, but okay. All right, everybody. Gloom Widow, Nephilia, Banishing, and the Melee. Arcane Melee. All right, that's a nice little duplicate rare from the first box. Dude, Brad, you got to be flipping excited for the Double Cavern, man. You got to be flipping excited. Ah, the old Demon Lord of Ashmouth again. Creepy looking card. Uh, he's always wearing that creepy mask. I mean, man, that was double cavern. I don't, I don't even think we got one cavern in the other video, did we? Reforge the soul again. Beautiful looking human. And a foil hunted ghoul. Oh, that's some crazy artwork there. That was a creepy looking ghoul. And yeah, you look all hot and powerful. We know, we know. You're showing off. We know, we know. It's cool, it's cool. Be cool, everybody. And the tracker again. That always reminds me of Shadows of Renistraw, that card. And a foil uncommon vampire. Not a bad little foil uncommon, actually. All right, everybody. Last 12 packs. We are hoping to hit. We are at three mythics. Uh, we're hoping to get something crazy. Like, I don't know. Maybe an, another flipping uh, Cavern of Souls Crusade. That would be amazing. Can you imagine three caverns? Oh, my God. That would be amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. We're hoping for a cavern. Open for an Avacyn. A couple good mythics. Eh, the Tyran of the old Discord again was not one of the super home runs we were hoping for. Alright, so overall, though, still absolutely a fantastic video, everybody. Absolutely great, great video. And the Arc Wing Dragon. That was what we got our full rare one from the other box. So at least this time we had the old Navigator full rare. It's better than a flipping bulk dragon, am I right? Just saying. Alright, come on, baby. And Harvester of Souls, really? Oh. It's terrible. Every time I see that, I'm like, I, I just remind myself, why did they print that at rare in conspiracy when nobody even cared about it in the first time around? I always thought that was really like weirdly annoying. And my, really, duplicate mythic city. Well, mythic number four, the flipping malignus. 
No foil, beautiful regular land. We're looking for some foil basics. Well, we are not do we didn't do that good on the mythics. I mean, do we get a gristle brand? Got a couple good cards, but most of our value in this video by far a third dark imposter. Good gourd. And a nettle swine, four drop, four three vanilla. Nothing exciting there. Um, nothing really nothing too exotic. We we didn't do good on the mythics, man. We hit a lot of the low end mythics in this video. Divine deflection. We had some duplicates, and we did not get some of the um, really good uh, iconic cards of the set, like Abyssin. And we did end up with a Grizzle Brand, though. I didn't even think we were going to get that. And a Moon Sliver Spear. God, it feels like almost deja vu with the two boxes now. It's like both boxes feel like it's just like a copy of each other. Well, it's like super, super creepy, man. All right. Anyways, and Infinite Reflection again. So yeah, we're getting the exact same rares, and the other cards we just never even saw one time, and we're getting just two of the same other stuff. So, oh well, everybody, still a really, hey, finally a Restoration Angel with those giant, beautiful wings. Look at that gorgeous long hair. Finally, oh my goodness, we finally got a Restoration Angel at the close there. So I was like, there's a lot of the good angels we did not get in this video this time around. Definitely a very strange twist on the opening. And Gallows at Willow Hill. All right, everybody, very last pack today. Again, thank you, everybody, for watching Mr. Bradley B, 2Bs, also known as the Diablo 3 2Bs error glitch from a long time ago, and ending on a Hound of Grizzle brand. Anyways, thank you for the support, everybody. What a fantastic opening. We did get the big Monty there, the double cavern. Uh, kind of weak. We still ended up with about eight Mythics between both boxes. We did get one Crater Hoof uh, Behemoth and everything, and we did get the Sigardia, you know, and a Grizzle. Not too bad. Kind of weak on the Mythics, at least it felt. Anyways, as always, thank you all for watching. I appreciate the views, the support. And as always, thank you for allowing me the honor and privilege to entertain you.